some people in this world make cooking, cooking seem effortless and fun. Our next guest is one of them. She's a multiple Canadian screen award-winning host, best-selling cookbook author, and of course, a dear friend of this show. Yes, we love her. We're thrilled she's here today with dishes from her latest cookbook in Mary's Kitchen. It's the one and only Mary Bird, everybody. Oh, yeah. It's so good to have you here. Listen, I am so excited to be here. I feel like we kind of like nailed Matching. it on our outfits. Yeah, we really are. Yeah. We are so excited. We're always excited to eat your delectable food. <laughs> but first, can we just backtrack a bit? Because you've been on air for just a little over a month right mm -hmm. now. The good stuff, of course. Yes. What does it feel like to be into your TV hosting era? Honestly, I'm yes. so Run excited about it. It is so nice. I, I feel like you guys are like old pros. I love having the audience. You get that immediate reaction. Yeah. Yes. People are liking it. They like it and they let you know. Yeah. And if they're yeah. not, sometimes they don't. Yeah. And that's okay. <laughs> yep. It's so amazing amazing and wonderful and I'm like so grateful that you are like across the hallway yeah. from me yeah, yeah. No, she's and just right over there yeah. yes and let's just say this you are killing it you're oh, doing thank you. such a good job yeah, we you. love watching you guys right? social media team oh, oh, oh so I know they're so good it. yeah amazing. they really are okay yeah. so let's I'm gonna be honest I spent a little bit of time in the kitchen <laughs> toasting and boiling water get it and then we have queen Wait, of the you captain. toast the water <laughs> I'm not, I, I boil that's how you yeah. know it's yeah I toast the water and then we have the queen of the captains in the kitchen so she had a lot more experience but you say your cookbook is for any and everybody. Yeah. Yes. So this cookbook in Mary's Kitchen is my newest one. It's out today, which is so exciting. <laughs> um, and it is literally written for people with no skill or a lot of skill in the kitchen, which okay, is hard. Great. I want to make it like interesting enough for people who love being in the kitchen, mm -hmm. but easy enough that if you're like an Andrea or like my and lovely you're mother toasted Myra, water. you're toasted water. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that you can get this done and it'll be beautiful. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah. let's get to the food. Yes. And I'm so excited about this first dish, yes. which is an apple cinnamon biscuit mm. bun. They look so good and so impressive, mm -hmm. but I love that the dough doesn't need to rise. That always scares me. Oh. So tell me about how this, this comes together. Can so, we eat while you talk? Yeah, yeah. Eat okay. while I talk. Do you guys do it? I This is uh, made out of necessity. Because, oh my gosh. Right? Not too shabby. I crave cinnamon buns. That's always the thing that I'm like, I need a cinnamon bun in the next hour or I'm going to die. <laughs> um, mm. And this was like my own hack. I basically, as opposed to doing a yeasted kneaded dough, I do a biscuit oh dough. So it's super simple to throw together. It's got baking powder, of baking soda in there. Then you fill that with a little bit of apple, some nice cinnamon, and some pecans. And then I've got a cinnamon cream cheese frosting on top. Yeah, the frosting is really, I know. Yeah, the whole like, thing it's is so essential. delicious. Totally. There. It's it's essential. A winner. Thank you. This will shut down any party. All right, so yeah. next we're moving on to the eggplant parmesan, which I've never made before. Oh, girl, it is excellent. Is it? It is the OG. Fun fact, chicken parm, American Italian mm -hmm. uh, uh, invention. Yeah. Eggplant parm, full Italian. Full oh, Italian, yes. Though I, I learned a little like lesson. It's, it's good, because I got a couple <laughs> hacks. Oh, I love a hack. Yes, so the first thing, I've got an eggplant here, and mm -hmm. I'm just going to slice it about, you know, like a centimeter-ish, half an inch-ish thick. Okay. And then all I want to do, now, Jess, I know you're like, are you a salter or not a salter? I skipped that step. I, I do, too. You do, too? Yeah. You? Yes. Because it, okay. it keeps me from making it. You're yes. supposed to salt the eggplant in the colander. Listen. Really? The salting thing was from way back when, when eggplant was really bitter. Oh. But growers have bred that out, so it's not bitter anymore. If you mm. find one that has not just an absolute ton of seeds, maybe give it a salt, but you don't need to. I did not know don't that. I know. That's all there you go. Plant, ladies and gentlemen, you don't need to. Now, my main tip here okay. for maximum crunch. Yes, we which, want maximum crunch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maximum crunch is what I call um, food gloop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Break that down, Mary. What yeah. is food gloop? So food gloop is essentially <clears throat> like a classic egg wash, but as opposed to just doing egg or egg and milk, yeah. I replace the milk with a little bit of mayonnaise. Cause Ooh. mayonnaise is gloopy. And mayonnaise is essentially just egg and oil mixed together. Yeah. yeah. So it's already got a ton of flavor. It's got that egg in there. But what it does is it sticks onto that eggplant ah. so beautifully without having to do the flour dust or anything. So I usually do one egg to two-ish tablespoons of mayonnaise. Gotcha. Then all that egg gloop is on there. And then you pop that. I see that, the gloop. You see the gloop. You pop that into essentially just a mixture of panko breadcrumbs and mm -hmm. Parmesan cheese. Yeah. And this is where I might lose people. You can use real Parmesan, Parmesan Reggiano, or, or you can use shaky cheese. <laughs> Listen, I love the shaky audience. cheese. Did you hear that? There's low. no oh. shame. They are not into no shame. That's okay. 
Yeah, but that's the thing. In cooking, you can do whatever works yeah. for you. Okay. There's a little garlic powder in here too, some uh, Italian seasoning. Just do that to all that eggplant. That was as easy as anything. Give that a little bit of a fry, and then yeah. you end up with these oh little Oh my gosh, delicious. So delicious. So good. Really delicious. Great job. Now, to put this together, yeah. I usually just do it. Do you want to scoop some sauce in there for of me? Of course. You I'm know putting Andrea to work. I'm your sous chef. Whatever yes. you need. So how much am I putting? Just dump a good amount in there. Do you want me to do the whole bowl? No, not the whole bowl, but half the bowl. Okay, half the bowl. There you go. Okay. Spread that on out. Okay. And then to arrange this baby, all you do is get, this is beautiful. You're right? I know how to spread stuff. Spreading. I can yeah. boil and spread and toast, Mary. That's good. Okay, put it down. All right, oh my so God, pop I'm that in, a little, a little sauce on top. Oh, we do sauce on top. Sauce on top too, and then you put a little bit of fresh mozzarella. Oh. You lay that out, pop that in the oven, and then you end up with this little number, which is a total smoke show. That, that looks incredible. Brilliant. I'm still making that. It's so good, and you can get it done up to this point, like a day in advance, and you're good to go. Pop okay. it in the oven. Yeah. I love this one, but the next one I'm a, I'm a little, I'm a little oh. worried about. Because oh, no. it's a mashup of two things. I'm not, I know it's good because you made it, but <laughs> we're talking about chicken noodle roast chicken. Yes. Break that down for yeah, me. Yeah, so, break this down. I don't know if, when I was a kid, when I wasn't feeling 100% or was feeling a little sad or whatever, yeah. my mom would make the chicken noodle soup that came in the little packet and it was like neon highlighter. Yellow. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Danger. Know yeah, yeah. 100%. And that still to this day is like what I reach for when I'm needing comfort. Mm -hmm. So this is a bit of a mashup between that soup and a roast chicken. Okay. Super good. It's got orzo. I do a little bit of turmeric and some chicken bouillon in butter onto that, that chicken. Gotcha. You sear that off, cook up some veg a little, put in some orzo, pop that all in an oven, one pan dish, chicken noodle roast chicken, starch, chicken, veg, you're done. I will Loves never question it. you again, no. Mary. Loves it. Yes. Never. Okay, quickly for the last dish. Yes. I always, I don't know about you guys, but when you have those leftover herbs and you know, they go to mush. They turn into the goo. You got something we're gonna turn them into something not gooey, yes. but something delicious. Yes, so this is a super good couscous mm. salad. You make a really quick and easy dressing that's like dill, parsley. Mm -hmm. It's so fresh it's tasting. It's super fresh. There's yogurt so in there, garlic, a little bit of goat cheese or feta, mm. whatever you like. Mm -hmm. And then why the trick is to use those herbs like they're lettuce. Chop them up, yeah. chop them in, mm. use them and eat them up. Smart idea. Oh my yeah. gosh, Brilliant. I love this. Mm -hmm. Mary, you're the best. You're the best. Thank you so much yeah. for being oh, here. so much. And for sharing these fabulous recipes. In Mary's Kitchen is available now, and good news for our studio audience, Mary is sending you all home with your very own copy. Yeah. Yeah. to catch episodes of The Good Stuff weekdays at 10 a.m. right here on CTV. Plus, new episodes of Mary Makes It Easy Woo! Tuesday at 8 p.m. on CTV Life Channel. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.